On August 1, 1914, four days after Australia declared war on Syria, two more great European powers, Russia and Germany, declared war on each other. The same day, France orders a general mobilization. The so-called Great War would be one unprecedented destruction and loss of life, resulting in the deaths of some 20 million soldiers and civilians. The event that w was widely acknowledged to have sparked the outbreak of World War I occurred on June 28, 1914, when Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, was shot to death with his wife. On December 7, 1914, Pope Benedict XV suggested a temporary hiatus of the war for the celebration of Christmas. The warring countries refused to create any official ceasefire. On Christmas morning, traveling down the trenches was the sound of Christmas carols, first from one side, then from both. German soldiers at once decided to step into no man's land and spend the day burying their dead, not before making an encounter with the enemies. Both sides on the Western Front agreed to their own unofficial truce and spent the day sharing cigars, exchanging food, gifts, and singing Christmas carols. There was even a trade of British rum for German beer and a soccer match played with a leather ball from a British soldier. We were just going to fire on them when we saw they had no rifles. So one of our men went out to meet them and in about two minutes the ground between the two lines of trenches was swarming with men and officers of both sides shaking hands and wishing each other a happy Christmas. The Christmas truce is important and has a significance in history because it can show us that peace is possible. And over time, as we look back, we can say we can do better than a short period of time for a truce and a truce between two sides after a major war. Or even just a simple disagreement between people won't be as short and can last a lifetime or more. Why should we care? To avoid conflict and create compromise, we can look back at the Christmas truce of 1914 during World War I as an example of absolute compromise after a major war. Although the truce was for a very short period of time, we can build and learn from it because it gives an insight as why compromise is important and how it can create peace between two sides. Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you and me. Every son of liberty. Hurry right away, no delay, go today. Make your daddy glad to have had such a lad. Tell your sweetheart not to pine, to be proud her boys in line. Over there, over there, send the word, send the word over there, that the Yanks are coming, the Yanks are coming, the drums rum coming everywhere. So prepare, say a prayer, send the word, send the word to beware. 